Hi guys, this time I wanted to review LC5 fully discrete operational amplifiers working in class A from Aklium. Um, as you may have seen, I review some I reviewed some time ago LC2 modules from Aklium uh, because I was wondering about the sound of pure class A. Uh, discrete operational amplifiers. I was wondering about uh, comparing them uh, with uh, uh, integrated uh, operational amplifiers. And I was very impressed uh, about LC2s. Uh, they are very good, uh, actually splendid uh, little devices. Uh, but I wanted to use them uh, in my uh, Breeze Audio E600 uh, headphone amplifier. And I've seen that there's a problem because uh, they were working fine uh, when the device, when my headphone amplifier was on low gain, uh, on low volume settings. Uh, but when I was passing some specific point, uh, raising out the volume, they just switched off uh, because E600 wasn't able to power them uh, to the uh, required level. Uh, so I got myself uh, LC5s uh, because uh, Aklium says that these have uh, less current draw uh, and they are still for clean class A discrete operational amplifiers. So uh, let's start with uh, manufacturer's data, uh, some electrical parameters that uh, should catch your attention. Uh, they have noise as low as 20 nanovolts, that's low. Uh, signal to noise ratio is more than 100 decibels. Uh, THD distortion is less than 0.0002%. That's very low distortion. And uh, the slew rate is uh, 18 volts per microsecond. So it's uh, not the best, but very good slew rate. Uh, okay, uh, the size. The most important thing besides sound quality about this is the size, because as you can see, they are quite large. So will they fit your amplifier? Will they fit your headphone amplifier? And will they fit your digital to analog converter? So the most important thing here would be the height. And let's turn on Oh, oh, no, don't do that. Uh, I need to switch. I need to change battery. So see you in a second. Luckily, I'm always prepared for emergencies like that. So I have a spare battery. Let's close that. And let's do the measurements. Yep, zero. Okay, as I said, the most important thing here would be the height of the module. So, I'll measure the height from this place because that's as low as you can go with deep socket to the top of the module. Right? Can you see that? And that will be 29.6 millimeter. So it's quite big. But if you have 29.6, let's say 30, because you need a little bit of space above the module, let's say if you have 30 millimeters clearance above the deep socket measured from the top of the socket, then you'll be perfectly fine with these modules. Uh, okay. Here we have in this place, that's that's the widest place. Let's say 11 millimeters. And here it's 20 millimeters. And at the top, we'll have 34 millimeters. But as I said, the most important dimension is uh, height of this module. So having said that, they are fitting perfectly fine my uh, Breeze uh, Hi-Fi a headphone amplifier model E600. Uh, they are also nicely nicely fitting uh, semi-brother uh, digital to analog converter. 
Uh, another important aspect uh, of these ones is that LC2s have problems with working uh, in class D amplifiers. Uh, these were designed uh, with D class amplifiers in mind. So they are working perfect, perfectly fine with TPA3255 uh, chipsets as long as you'll be able to fit them inside. Uh, you can get some uh, small um, deep 8 uh, adapters, uh, socket adapters with, all, with, with wires uh, which allow for placing them horizontally because the deep socket is connected by some wires. Uh, so you may try something like that and as long as they'll fit inside you'll be happy with them. Uh, so, uh, the size is not the most important quality in the operational amplifier. The most important quality here will be the sound. And starting from the bottom, the bass. They have very nice dynamic bass, uh, the bass that goes very, very low. And that's something I really appreciated in my headphone amplifier. Uh, the meets the meets uh, this is full this is uh, class a this is fully discrete class a and this means that you should expect a very nice very natural mid-range uh, you should expect very good uh, human voices female and male vocals and that's what you get with this you get very analog very natural uh, voices uh, in the mid-range um, the sound, the, the human voices are full-bodied. Uh, they they sound very natural. Uh, the mids extend uh, extends into treble. The treble has great extension. There is no sibilance. That's important. There is no sibilance whatsoever, and the treble is very airy. Uh, the airiness gives you additional benefits. Uh, for the separation and detail. Although these sound very analog and very natural, uh, they don't have this foggy quality to them. Uh, they are very clear and you get uh, all of the details uh, in the mid-range and in the treble. Uh, as I said, uh, them being class A, they will have this very nice, very organic sound. Uh, they are great pairing uh, for Breeze hi uh, 8600. Uh, and I can wholeheartedly, wholeheartedly recommend this uh, pairing uh, because uh, what uh, do they bring to the table is that this analog organic sound. You can place them in your digital headphone amplifier, you can place them in your digital class D amplifier and with them inside these devices won't sound digital. They will sound nicely with this analog flavor to the sound. Uh, so, I really, really like them. I really, really, uh, I'm really, really happy that I got them. Now about the price. Uh, you have to remember that this is dual amplifier. So, one device has actually two operational amplifiers inside. Uh, you can get uh, also single ones, but they have different uh, model number. These are the, the single ones with the LC6. Uh, but these are LC5's dual operational amplifiers and they are about $12 each. So we have $24 for a pair and uh, usually you'll need them in pairs because uh, in uh, digital to analog converters or in headphones amplifiers you'll have one dual per channel. Uh, in digital to analog converters they are working uh, as well in uh, current to voltage um, stage of the digital to analog converter as in uh, low pass filter section. Uh, so highly recommended, uh, only $12 per each and uh, I'm sure that the thing that you'd be asking the most uh, in the comments would be comparison with these, with LC2s. So as you can already see the LC2s are smaller LC tools again measuring from the deep socket to the top are 25.2, which means that you'll have uh, you'll need something like 26, let's say 26 millimeters uh, to have this clearance. Uh, so 
LC fives are a little bit higher. Uh, the LC twos uh, have basically the same sound signature, although when I was critically listening uh, to both of them and I was switching them uh, in my semi breve DAC, I thought that maybe LC twos sound uh, a little bit uh, thicker. Uh, but that was uh, on ju just on the verge of my uh, hearing, so and I'm, I'm not completely uh, sure about that. But I thought I've heard uh, a small, very small difference, uh, which is not to say that uh, neither of them is bad. Uh, they are very good, both of them are very good. LC2s and LC5s are actually excellent. Uh, but LC5s will work in a larger amount of uh, electronic devices that you may own. The interesting thing here is that these are basically the same in price because LC2 is also dual uh, and LC5 is also dual. The price is basically the same. The difference was like half a dollar uh, per piece. So all in all the same price. Uh, yeah, so let's, let's get this out of the way and focus on these ones. Uh, another interesting thing here is that uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but uh, they have uh, LED here. This white block here is LED, so when they are working fine, you have this nice blue light coming from either side. Uh, and that's actually something you may see on the uh, miniature photo for this video here. Uh, okay, all in all, very good, uh, very natural, uh, very analog sounding uh, as you would expect from class A uh, device, operational amplifier, as long as you will be able to fit them inside of your digital to analog converter or headphone amplifier, get them and you'll be happy with them. Uh, I think that's all. If I forgot about something, just ask me in the comments. Uh, I will place links uh, to the store, to the producer's manufacturer's store that I got them from. Uh, and you can also read some interesting comments there because the store has uh, already sold uh, hundreds of them and you may read some interesting comparisons uh, to um, to integrated operational ampli amplifiers uh, in the comments section. Okay, I bought them, I love them, they'll be a part of my E600 headphone amplifier setup uh, as my reference headphone amplifier, so highly recommended. Thank you, I hope you enjoyed this little video and see you next time!